Today on the Mid-Year Mitch YouTube channel is another fiberglass episode and I'm repairing a C2 firewall. Be sure to stick around. <laughs> So I've got pieces here for a C2 firewall. You can see that it's in quite a few different pieces here and it's a good bit missing. Like this section over here where the vent was and this bit over here. I have a small chunk here but as you can see we're still missing a lot. Um, so I'm going to make some of this but I also have this fiberglass seat back that came from my 78. And I'm going to use part of this because it's got a similar curvature to what it would have been here. So I'm going to cut a piece of this and glass that in here. Then I can cut another hole in there uh, for a vent. And then I'm going to have to make this part right here. Glass all this back together. So I fiberglass the back of this, and this panel got pretty strong, which is good news. So now I'll just finish scuffing up this, scuff up the fresh stuff, put a layer of mat down here. The next one I'm going to work on closing off these openings. Made this little pattern here, and some trimming may be required whenever I get to the, to the final part, but I'd rather leave it a little long. Yesterday's repair came out real nice. This guy's pretty solid. Now I just need to go and reinforce it on the back. Put a seam here, grind this back a little bit, put a couple seams in here. This will be rock solid. Now this just needs some grinding to blend all this back together. I'm not really sure what the story is this was broken, repaired, and then broken again. So I have most of the pieces, but for some reason, someone did a lot of extra work here, unless these are all from different firewalls. I'm not really sure, but at least these guys look like they were fitting together. So I'm gonna have to do some grinding, graft these in. Not sure if I'd call this my best rig or my sketchiest rig, but hey, it works. I have everything jigged up here. We have three pieces here we're trying to line up and all these clamps are kind of keeping it tight and duct tape is your best friend here. So I'm putting duct tape behind here as my backer. So whenever I put my cloth in and resin, it won't drip everywhere. So my really sketchy fiberglass rig worked. Everything bonded up nice and solid. This little guy is on here really well. And just with a little bit of grinding, it'll have a real nice shape to it. It's already got a good contour, so this will blend in real nice. So now this is for, this is the interesting part here. I'm gonna try and make all of, all of this right here.
I just use cardboard and then I put a piece of uh, wax paper on top and hopefully I don't get wrinkles in the front side because of the it didn't pull as tight as I wanted it to but anyways I have all my pieces cut I have the top one middle bottom a couple little fillers for in here and we'll see how it goes I'm gonna try with the first one to kind of just fill this void the second one go a little further over the third one go a little further over and they'll all creep up the sides to hopefully make this strong I decided to do the inside just so it'll fill up kind of like a bowl and since it's slanted this way it won't go over the edge I put this piece of tape here to kind of give me a visual of how far my glass is going to go it's going to go a little over so I can trim it off and hopefully get a pretty decent edge So I'm really happy with the way this patch came out. That wax paper leaves a really, really good surface finish. I'm not sure if you're able to see that, but it it feels just like the 63 did whenever I stripped the paint off of it. It's that same brand new panel finish. Um, and you can see the kind of finished duct tape leaves, but all this is gonna be buzzed off the whole way across. So I just had a little extra there to make sure I have the right thickness. So I have to go back through and do some work in these edges in here, which I expected to do. But one thing I messed up on is I used cardboard as my backer because it left some of these ridges and stuff in here. So right now I'm just gonna focus on filling these couple little, I guess that was from the cardboard. These couple marks had a couple air pockets. I'm gonna blend some of this stuff in. And then I patched the cracks on the back side of the, of the firewall. Made it nice and strong, but I'm just gonna fill in these cracks in the front. So here's the finished product for now on the firewall. I got this thing, it's like 90% there. Um, so it's good enough to mount onto the car. This ear up here, I decided I'm gonna wait until I install the firewall, I'll use the bird cage to structure that piece of fiberglass. And then I know it fits properly. This thing just needs some sanding and paint it black pretty much. I need to cut a hole over here for the fresh air vent or just for a hole just to get air through. Cause I'm not probably not gonna put a little flapper in here like this one had. I may trim this off or rebuild that flap. But right now this is structural. Uh, I can pick up the piece and it's not gonna break before. It would have tried to break into a bunch of pieces just by trying to pick it up. So it's, it's good enough to mock a front end up. And I have another piece I'm looking at buying that's this plenum and it has this piece here. So whenever I get that piece, I can splice all this together and make this real nice. I'll have to get a plenum for that side and then the top piece of the firewall. And then we're pretty much ready to rock and roll. So I'm gonna put this on the shelf as well as this. This is a door I reskinned. I think it's a 66 door and I uh, skinned it with a convertible door skin and it turned out pretty good. So this is the piece I was talking about that I ordered. It's a, a plenum for the driver's side and it has some of the firewall I'm missing and I have a passenger side plenum on the way. So uh, in the future, I'll work on integrating these pieces into this build. Um, but for now, it's on the shelf. And right now, I am doing some rust repair on this frame. Uh, so once I get this out, this is Hunter's frame. I'll have a video coming out on this shortly. Um, but once this is done, then my frame is coming out from under that 78. And we're going to start converting it to a C2 frame. And we'll start putting Humpty Dumpty back together. And we'll have ourselves a shell, hopefully before Christmas. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.